Okay. Quick update on my life, and then I'll let you guys know what I'm getting into with this play session. You can decide if it's worth your time or not. Uh, still dealing with COVID in my house. Don't actually know if I have it. Uh, as of right now, all I have is a pretty brutal sinus headache. But my wife definitely has it. And she's been isolating in the back of our house for two days. And I've been taking care of our foster daughter uh, in hopes that she won't contract it uh, but she started coughing today pretty bad and she's already had some, a lot of sinus stuff going on for a few days so it's it's likely that we all have it my wife uh, had the Pfizer vaccine and I had Moderna I've heard uh, I've heard things that the Moderna is supposed to be better against the Delta variant which apparently uh, this is we know exactly where it came from and uh, it seems that, that that's what that's what the tests showed. Um, the person we got it from was positive for the Delta variant. So anyway, I've been taking my wife uh, food and leaving it outside the door, and we've not had any actual interaction in two days. So I've had a baby that's uh, not sleeping good, not napping good. So I'm tired. I'm not looking to jump into anything too difficult tonight. So tonight is going to be extra chill. And all I'm going to be doing is trying to run around, probably do some, do a little bit of farming, uh, collect a couple of things that I just wanted in this playthrough, um, get the last couple daggers that I wanted to round out my dagger collection, probably farm up some souls, try to get my intelligence up to 25 so I can use crystal magic weapon on uh, Manus and Artorius. And then also, um, well, I think the first thing I'll do actually is kill Gwendolyn. Uh, that's going to be the only, only actual fight because I did, I forgot about that. Um, so I'm going to go do that now in case uh, you are interested in seeing me fight bosses but don't care about the the rest of the stuff uh, but yeah I, I don't really want to jump into a Manus or a Calamite fight um, I definitely my, my head's a little heavy uh, I just don't feel like I'm going to be on my game tonight so but I would I need a little bit of game therapy I need a little bit of a, a little bit of a chill session so I wanted to play. So, we're gonna make a. First thing we're gonna do is make a fashion change, though. So this is my favorite helmet in the game. Try to pull a, a ring swap after the parry, and I screwed it up royally. But how, you humans, my dear. All right, that's our next to last dagger. What an excellent little weapon. Uh, I may actually upgrade that and use it for Gwen, or at least do some testing to see if that or my uh, Bandit's Knife is going to do the best damage. I like how even the parry animation has the, uh, the little blue streak effect. Let's also change this, change this up a bit. Let's, let's, uh, since, since we're, since we're getting weird tonight. Let's, uh, let's just, let's go ahead and change up everything. Yeah, I can't take the clipping with the hair on that one. I can dig that. Let's see if I still got, nope.
My endurance is not high enough. So that's not gonna work. That's it for this session. Okay, what's up next? Gwendolyn. I'll try to think up some semi-interesting things to talk about as we go. We're probably going to be probably going to be chilling for a while tonight, but mainly I'm just, I'm just looking to take it easy. I think I've already talked about my, uh, I don't know if it's a guilty pleasure. It's not, I just, I find, I find farming, uh, in video games, especially if it's optional, uh, just extremely relaxing and it's one of my favorite things to just kind of zone out and uh, do the same thing over and over find it extremely calming so I'm definitely going to be doing some of that tonight I'm, uh, I'm drinking on some gin and juice which is probably a terrible idea to be drinking at all uh, kind of sitting in preparation to potentially get worse with COVID uh, but it is what it is <laughs> it's, it's been a it's been a couple of days nothing nothing too bad I always try to keep myself in check could be so much worse but it's just kind of the combination of both uh, oh, heretic, swathed in dark. both actually dealing with just you know uh, my wife one my wife being sick uh, which sucks having to kind of wait on her uh, take care of her not you know not not anything major but just just her not being able to come into the to use the rest of the house and so She's kind of reliant on me to bring her what she needs. Let's see how many levels we can get now. Oh, that's not too bad. So we need seven more to use Crystal Magic Weapon, which is kind of my goal. I would like to get two more attunement as well, so I can use Great Magic Weapon, Crystal Magic Weapon, and Power Within. That's kind of my, if I have a goal for tonight, it's to... It's to do that. I feel like that's the best way I can upgrade for Manus and Calamite, so it won't take me too long. After how long that Artorias fight took, I wouldn't mind getting some some small upgrades. Uh, I'm not going to switch weapons, but having Crystal Magic Weapon would be nice. And having a, a total of six buffs would be nice. So, uh, But that's it. That's it as far as boss fights. So I'm not going to do anything else that's actual progression tonight. So, um, you know, if you've at all been interested in my playthroughs and, and uh, you, it is your call now whether you want to hang in here with me as I as I chill and talk about random stuff as I farm up some stuff uh, I think my, my next order of business is going to be we're in the fire link we're going to go to the undead merchant pick up some extra um, well, let me see how many I have first Lloyd's talismans. Pick up a few of those because I would like to get um, the mimic helmet, the helm of avarice. Uh, one just because uh, it's kind of it's kind of one of my traditions. I always like to try to get it on every playthrough, and then two, it would be nice to have it for the farming that I'm going to be doing soon. Yeah. 
yeah, everything from here on out is just going to be uh, totally optional and probably somewhat unnecessary. Uh, so, if you want to catch me on the next I'll one, I'll that. pick back up in the <laughs> DLC. It's perfectly understandable. Uh, for anybody that wants to hang out, I'm going to take a look talk about some of my favorite YouTube channels. Um, kind of been wanting to or been meaning to. I think 10 will do. If I can't get it in 10, so I forget it. I might need to, might need to also grab some extra. No, I've got plenty. Probably going to be using a lot of these. souls I can pop. Let me go ahead and do that actually. Okay. Let's think for a second. Where, what mimic in the game is closest to a bonfire? Alright, first mimic you encounter, and then Sin's Fortress. Uh, that would be a little bit of a run. And the second one would be here, in a Norlando. That one's pretty close. Duke's, Duke's Archives. Duke's Archives is right by the bonfire. Actually, there's two there, but one of them is right by the bonfire. So that's the one we're going for. Let me make sure I've got my gold serpent ring on. And... discovery is as high as I can get it. Um, where am I going? Okay, so actually item discovery is max to now. But the reason I want this is for the extra souls it gives you. play a game, uh, take a guess on how many times, or if, I'm actually going to get the, the Helm of Avarice from this guy. I'm going to say, I'm going to say fourth try, I'll get it. No bueno on three. There we go. Number four. Be good to me. Boom. 
think that was six. Not bad. Actually, I'm not going to kill him. He gave me what I wanted, sir. He may live to eat someone else. Okay. First farm, successful. We have a helm. Okay, so... I want to be able to throw it on quickly. So let's do a little bit of a... Uh, let's do a little bit of inventory management here. I'm not going to use Havels. I'm not going to use this. Actually, I may want to keep that just in case while I'm soul farming. Um, probably not going to use this, but... Not sure. Won't need this anymore. I won't need this anymore. I won't need that anymore. Okay, that works. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with this right now. I'm just gonna reorder those. So let's go. Okay, we want the... Let's just put this at the very top. This might be useful. Let's put this there, and then the helmet that I'm wearing. Just underneath. That way I can go. Up one for Avarice, down one for the extra stam region. It. And then on the rings, um, that works. for my two yeah I like it all right what's next let's try to get that last dagger let's try to get that last dagger and while we're at it uh, farm up a few more tight knot chunks so I may upgrade another weapon uh, just for just for this just for the just for the soul farming that I'm going to be doing later. <coughs> Excuse me. Probably should have dressed. So this may be one of the one of the tougher farms if I commit to it which I, I already have so <laughs> whether it's on on recording or not uh, before I before I end this playthrough I will have to get this dagger from one of the two ghosts down here because that's the last dagger that I need to finish out my full collection which is one of the things that I I knew I was gonna do just for fun uh, coming into this playthrough since I was gonna be using a dagger so I'm gonna try a few times. If it doesn't work out tonight, I'll just have to try it again later. But before before Gwen dies, I will I will have to uh, successfully achieve this dagger. So, and apparently it's a pretty rare chop because I don't I don't kill uh, the the mother ghosts a lot. The ones holding the babies, uh, that's the one that has it. And this is not the I'm not talking about the jagged blade. Uh, I love that. I love that weapon, by the way. It's an excellent, excellent beginning weapon if you're willing to come down here and farm early. You can upgrade it quickly with Twinkling Titanite, and it does a lot of damage for early game. Uh, I might be in trouble again. I think I did this when I actually went through this area the first time. There we go. 
shouldn't be too bad now though. Still got my ring on, yes. So it's uh, these. This goes to you right back here. This is the one. There's only that one. And then the one inside the uh, the room here with a ladder leading up. gonna be it's not a, it's not a great uh, not great chances there two ghosts two ghosts per run okay let's go to let's go to hornet let's take out these um, uh, that's not a dagger in my hand no. <laughs> well, we get another run at those guests. <laughs> I tried to, tried to parry with my catalyst there. But that's exactly. That's exactly why I didn't want to go into the the Manus and uh, Calamia fight tonight. I had a good feeling that trying to do something difficult tonight would not go well for me. And you guys would be watching me fail uh, about 27 times in a row. So. You can all watch me fail at taking out Dark Raids instead. But I'm going to have a good attitude about it. So. I gave you the disclaimer about what I was doing early on, so if you're still sticking around, that's on you. Oh yeah, I said I was going to talk about my favorite YouTube channels though. So, if you are here, whoever you are, first off, I love you. Like, for real. If you're watching me play Dark Souls, not only are you watching me play Dark Souls, but you're watching me do very unnecessary things on Dark Souls in my sleepy, monotone, boring voice. It's even more nasally than it normally is due to the in insane sinuses that I have. I feel like a golf ball is like pushing out of my forehead. Uh, you're a real trooper. And I love you. I wish you all the best things in life. I hope you have an awesome day. If your day's done, I hope tomorrow's awesome. And if it's not, then I hope the next day makes up for it. But, now, I'm going to tell you about some of my favorite YouTube channels. Um, so first off, the channel that I would say uh, this, this channel is at least somewhat inspired by, uh, probably more than somewhat, is K plays K A Y P L A Y S. K plays. Um, okay, I have my dagger. I have my humanity. K plays is amazing. It's a slow burn. I'm just gonna 
to warn you. It's not uh, it's not one that you're gonna jump into, and it's the most entertaining thing ever. But it is uh, it's six or eight years old now, probably closer to eight. And it's a girl that it started off as kind of a joke. Um, so apparently. Uh, there's a dude who was a very into Dark Souls, and he had a girlfriend who played, who was a was a gamer, um, had played games most of her life, I think, but all all on PC. Uh, since since she was a kid, she played uh, games on PC, and apparently they played uh, Borderlands together, and her trying to control the uh, the console controller which she had never really done as uh, she had I, I guess really never played anything that had like the, the twin stick set up uh, and apparently it was just comical uh, where did that guy go I'm assuming he fell off but I have no idea why or how it's very strange so he thought it would be funny to stick her straight onto Dark Souls uh, like as her first real console game uh, using a controller He was just hoping it would be a laugh or whatever, just to watch, you know, hey, watch this, watch this noob suck at Dark Souls. And she does it first. I mean, she, she is exactly what you'd think. I think it takes her probably an hour and a half to two hours to get out of the asylum. So that's what I'm saying. It, it to really appreciate it for what it is, it, it takes a little bit of an investment. But man, it is wonderful when she gets to rolling. She is so thoughtful and so careful and uh, actually like takes time to, to look at everything and read everything and she 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 sees stuff in her first playthrough and puts together pieces of lore that after going deep down the Dark Souls rabbit hole I still didn't know I, after playing the game many times after you know watching Vati videos and uh, ENBs from the Dark series, and I mean, just going really, really. If you don't know who those are, you should check those out too. But um, you know, after going deep into the Dark Souls, Dark Souls just knowledge base on the internet uh, and playing the game, I still learn things from this this girl's very first like true blind playthrough. Uh, one of my I, I hate when people like claim that it's a blind playthrough, but if you've played the game, uh, you know a good amount though I'm gonna shut up for just a second so I don't screw up here please give me a chunk sir thank you let's see how many I have now six I think I've already picked up the only one that I missed earlier, or with the first time I came through here. I believe I need nine to fully upgrade something. I don't know. I don't know if the K plays uh, blind playthrough is for everybody. Uh, no, it's not for everybody. Nothing's for everybody. But if if you if you enjoy trying to live vicariously uh, through someone else going through Dark Souls, and again, not only blind, but someone basically picking up Dark Souls as their first third person RPG game that they'd really ever played. I think she said she'd played Skyrim, but again it was on it was on PC. 
Uh, so someone who's literally learning how to play games on a, con on a console controller and jumping straight into Dark Souls but just being amazing at at paying attention and, and learning from her mistakes um, I love it I, I've watched the entire thing all the way through twice and then I just I will randomly uh, just throw on like a I'll just throw on a random episode I want to say there's like 60 something or 70 something videos in the series uh, she went on to play Dark Souls 2 and some of three, but never finished it. Uh, I don't think she's put a, a a video on YouTube for like six years, so she she must have retired. Uh, but there's there's still a little uh, community that gets on. The last video she uploaded was I don't want to say it's like Pixel Dungeon or something. Uh, and it's it, it doesn't even have commentary or anything in it. She just she did some kind of like a challenge run on Pixel Dungeon, and there's a there's a community of of fans of her, especially the dark, the first Dark Souls series, which is the first thing she put on YouTube. There's a little community of fans that that get on that last video that she made, <laughs> and uh, just reminisce or, or talk about you know how much they enjoyed watching her play through. Yeah, I'm one of those I'm one of those idiots. But yes, K plays. Can't express how much I love uh, that playthrough. So that's that's my number one. If you haven't seen it, uh, again, may not be your thing at all. Maybe way too slow for you. Uh, it starts out really low quality, like the <clears throat> both the video and the mic, and you know she's she's. But the whole thing, the whole thing is just it's the it's the best journey. <coughs> the best soul's journey <coughs> that I've ever been on that wasn't you know my own uh, and she makes me jealous how how thoughtful and how good she is at, um, at, at taking everything in at the same time I think it's a it's a really tough thing to do to go through a FromSoft game and and like try to uh, try to hold, hold everything in mind um, Meaning, like, I mean, obviously, like, you're exploring the areas, and so you're trying to remember where you've been, where you haven't been, where you need to go, where the locked door was, all that. Then you're, you know, you're constantly surveying for danger. Uh, and then you're, you know, running into some enemy and trying to learn their patterns, and then jumping back into exploration. And then the whole time you're getting items and lore pieces thrown at you and it, it's so hard to like keep all that in mind and um and it, it, it almost to me it almost requires multiple playthroughs uh to like not o not only just do everything but like even scratch the surface uh, just because there's so there's so much stuff that, you know, it's like that with any th any game, I guess. But you know, these these seem these seem on another level to me. Um, Lunge at me, bro. Hmm. Not what I wanted, man. I need three more chunks. I could go into the kiln. But I really, really don't want to. I want to save the kiln for... Uh, I want to... 
leave the possibility that I enter the kiln and only go through once. I think that'll be basically impossible, uh, seeing as how I've never fought Gwen without a shield. Um, and so that means I'm not going to have the luxury of blocking that first hit and then and then parrying that second one that's easier to parry uh, I'm gonna have to get that first hit any um, no okay what's the smartest thing to do Check. I need one more okay you I can end only killing the first guy I'm not going to I'm not going to consider that uh cheating too bad. Don't need this though. So we'll go ahead and get some extra souls off of him. Okay, back to YouTube. I've talked enough about K plays. Uh number 2, actually everything behind K plays. There's there's probably I could probably list 20 uh, YouTube channels that kind of specialize in Souls content that I love. Um, so everything behind that is kind of just no no real order to it, but uh, Vegeta 311. Very sorry. I'm going to have to Decontaminate my microphone after all this. <coughs> Vegeta three eleven. <laughs> Again. He's not posted a video in like six years, I think. But I love his stuff. He's got this very uh, no-nonsense way about the information uh, he gives. That I just dig it. Uh, my favorite series of his is called um, Everything Possible Before the Gargoyles. But he's got a lot of really cool <coughs> challenge runs that he does. He does a uh, Calamity Ring challenge run on uh, I think New Game 7 or maybe it's just New Game 2. I can't remember. Uh, but it's very cool. He does uh, like a low level sorcery challenge run. That's very cool. And he's got a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. But uh, yeah, 
everything possible before the gargoyles was one of the actually one of the I feel like it's one of the earliest videos that I I found after I played through the game initially uh, trying to you know not not check out too many spoilers or anything maybe I played through the game a couple of times this game uh, and then I found Vegeta and uh, everything possible before the gargoyles was just like it blew my mind it was it was amazing at the time that I watched it I need nine of these and I'm gonna need a weapon oh man I haven't even thought about what weapon that I want to get I'll remind you again if you if you're still hanging in here with me I realize how unnecessary all this is but I'm having a really good time this is exactly this is exactly what I wanted tonight kicked back a little more than usual still still sipping on my gin and juice okay I can't get any I only have nine strength <coughs> Clearly, it has to be a dexterity weapon. And it has to be a dexterity weapon that I can two hand with only. what? Um, 15? Fourteen. Fourteen. So this has to be. it's a max strength of fourteen. Alright, I know what we're going for. Who else makes cool YouTube stuff? Uh, a recent one that I've, I've really enjoyed following is Zully the Witch. C U L L I E, I think. Um, they do just very, very cool videos on the soul stuff. Um, a little out of bounds uh, or um, like flyover camera stuff where get out of bounds and show different things and show different animations of like bosses coming into the arenas that you, you don't get to see <coughs> tons of cool stuff Sully the Witch, that's a good one um, uh, one of my uh, definitely one of my favorite ones it's by a guy called Kriken, uh, C-R-I-K-E-N. I think the channel is actually called Kriken 2, uh, the number 2. He has, um, he has one called uh, a series, and again, this is, this is older, several years ago. Uh, Dark Souls Chaos Randomizer, Kriken and Tomato. <laughs> That one's wonderful. I've, wa I've watched that one in its entirety twice as well. It's uh, more of the more on the comedy side of things, and also one that maybe I think it's it's probably not like a like right off the bat. It's uh it's, it's just kind of silly, but man, over time it gets so good. Oh, I really don't want to die to these guys. Glad I rested there, though. Guess I could probably get away with using a shield right now, since uh, this is kind of a, a little side run. This isn't part of my actual the the dagger run. I'm counting this is just totally optional nonsense but 
Okay, now I definitely don't want to lose my humanities. Um, I think I'll stay true. I think I'll stay true to the no shield. We're getting close to wrapping up what I'm going to be doing anyway. Uh, I'm, I don't think that I'm going to keep recording while I, la while I actually uh, farm the souls. So once I, once I get this weapon right here. Didn't want to risk those guys knocking me off while I make this jump. So yeah, once I get this upgraded, I'll be heading into the painted world to uh, farm those. I forget what they're called. Uh, they're like slugs with shields around the statue. I'll be wearing the. Let's see, I'll be wearing my Avers helm and the uh, cup of silver serpent ring. I'll do. I'll do at least one, well, just in okay. case. Anybody doesn't know about the the best farming spot in this game for souls. Uh, let's take this off so I don't screw around and die. I'll upgrade my weapon. I don't think I, I visited the giant at all. Hey, while we're here. While we're here, we're gonna do one other thing. I just had a like a flashback to when I was in this area originally so you know halfway through this playthrough and I was about to say something I was about to say I always think I said something like I always think when I'm coming up these stairs and then uh, the gargoyle that had been stuck on those stairs like smashed me right about here I think and then I don't, I don't think I ever finished what I was saying, but I love that they they put in two different sets of stairs. So you have the small stairs on, on the sides for like humanoids, and then you have the larger stairs in the middle that are for the giants. 
or, you know, originally standing on either side. Those guys. I just think that's such a cool little detail. And I, I didn't get to say it earlier because I got smashed by a gargoyle as I was trying to. Orlando is very, very lonesome place once it turns dark. around. Man, it's went by really fast to me. I'm sure, man, I'm sure that it, uh, if, you, if, you're, uh, if you're crazy enough to, to still be hanging in with me, I'm sure it's not went by fast for you. I hope that you fell asleep already, because I feel like that's about the only thing that's good, this video would be good for, is to, uh, get into that delusionally tired mindset where you just slowly slip off into sleep. I think when I when I come up on an hour, I'll just cut it. Mid sentence, mid sentence whatever. Just, just cut the video. We're at, I'm at I'm at uh, 53 minutes right now. I think I don't know if that's exact. I think I may have started the clock in a little to the time that I started recording, but I do have one more thing that uh Don't get that I might can teach you. If you're the type of person that if you're still watching this, you're definitely the type of person that, that loves to learn about Dark Souls. And I've got one thing that's a little, uh, I didn't know for a long time. It's, it's pretty useless to know, but it's interesting to me. So let's head to the Painted World. So there's a mechanic, there's an overkill mechanic in Dark Souls, uh, at least in this game. I don't think it, I'm not sure that it, it exists in the other games, but if you, if you do a certain amount of damage over what any enemy has max health, you get an extra some amount of souls. I'm not exactly what the percentage is. I want to say it's 20% though. I, th I think you get an extra 20% souls if you do X amount of damage past um, their health pool. So, uh, and 
I guess I'll, I'll try to while I'm here. While I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do this a couple times. Uh, first off, I want to find, get my setup right. Just go ahead and take this off. I don't need it. If I have any green blossoms, nah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Let's see. Let's just go this and that. Two hand it. I've got nine strength. Half of nine. Round it down as four. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh man. That's a bummer. I did not anticipate that. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to sp I'm gonna have to spend one point. Alright, we're doing it. We've came this far. I'm gonna have to waste one point into strength. Could probably use this actually. Could have probably just upgraded this and it would have been pretty decent. Okay. We'll just we'll stick with what we have for now. We'll do this. It's gonna be very suboptimal for what I'm doing, but and I'm not gonna be able to show you the thing I was talking about right now. But let's just uh actually, you know what? Let's 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 rewind. Let's pop all the souls that I have. show you just with this first guy so if I go if I go uh, just like this right, let's just do a running attack on this guy 518 souls 518 518 actually poise is probably gonna be Alright, 518 souls on all those guys. Now watch this. If I increase my damage enough to get over that threshold I was talking about. Interesting. So I'm either not hitting that damage threshold. Or I have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> One of those two things. Stone ring. I don't have any other way to, to, to get damage out. It's uh it's it's pretty substantial. The amount of damage you have to do over like their health pool is, is fairly substantial, but 
but I would have thought that I could do it with 40 decks and a fully upgraded Great Scythe, power within, and a buff. Um, I thought that would be, thought that would be it. Maybe, okay, maybe uh, my <laughs> only idea is that maybe there's something specific with these, um, with the uh, enemies up here. And these guys don't have that, but uh, the enemies up here do. So let's let's try this. Unbuffed, completely unbuffed, but in the buff. Let's see what one of these guys. It's gonna be really hard to just hit one of these guys. Okay, 720. Seven twenty. Eight sixty four. Eight sixty four. Okay, so. Maybe it's just certain enemies, but uh, you can see I'm not crazy now. Uh, I'm getting more souls with these guys after buffing than I was before. So, uh, so now that makes me want to go do more testing with other enemies in the game. Uh, because I, I, I knew it worked with these guys. But you get... Uh, I know I'd be really slow about this. close um, but yeah you get you get more souls if you overkill things so if you didn't know now you know there's a useless yet another weird uh, inbuilt but never mentioned mechanic in Dark Souls so now now I'll get serious I'll do I'll do one. Wait, I just I just went over an hour, so I'll do uh, I'll do one actual farm run, like I would like I'll be doing for the next thirty minutes. Let's do it once more. See exactly how many souls I get. So we're at 34,000 right now. So slightly over 11,000, nearly basically 12,000, right? 12K per run, not too bad. So I will see you guys back at the DLC. I'll be a little stronger. Hopefully not sick with COVID. It just depends on how things go and when that is. And then uh, after this playthrough, whoever I'm talking to that uh, is, has ridden this out all the way, you're the real MVP. 
I'll find a way to make it up to you sometime. I owe you. Throw in the comments what you want from me. Let me know a game on Steam you want. I'll buy it for you. No joke. If you're watching this right now and you want a game on Steam, let me know in the comments. Give me your name. I'll send it to you. And uh, I'll pick up back in the DLC next time I'm feeling froggy enough. <laughs> <laughs>